Recording started. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Ted Phillips. I'm the chair of the JEA's award committee, and I would like to call the May 9th, 2024 awards meeting to order. Uh, we have a physical quorum present this morning, uh, represented by myself and David Emanuel. And I think uh, Ricky Erickson is on the line representing for uh, Ray Marshall. Are you there, Ricky? I am, Ted. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, OGC is represented by Rebecca Levy. Uh, budget is represented by Stephanie Neely. Um, did we receive any public comment via email? No, sir. No public comments. We have no one in person here. Is there anyone on the line uh, from the public who would like to speak? If so, please take yourself off mute and speak up. Hearing none, we will move on. Uh, on today's consent agenda, we have one item. Uh, um, um, they have been approved by procurement, budget, OGC, legal, and the business unit, uh, VP in chief, and are ready for the awards committee approval. Uh, items two and three have been moved to the regular agenda for discussion. Before I take a vote on the consent agenda, uh, are there uh, any items that need to be moved from the consent agenda to the regular agenda for discussion or deferred to another week? Hearing none, may I get a motion to adopt today's consent agenda? I move. Second. Second. So that was David, Emma, David Emanuel making the motion and Ricky Erickson making the second. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion is adopted. Uh, the first item on the regular agenda uh, uh, open for discussion. Um, so this item uh, uh, was for um, uh, Buckman Biosolids, this uh, silo repair. Um, it's my understanding that the original award amount was below the $300,000 threshold, but uh, due to some additional cost, it brought this uh, over the $300,000 threshold. So now it needed to come to uh, the um, awards committee. Uh, is, is that correct? Have I stated that correctly? Through the chair, this is Joe Perez, uh, uh, procurement portfolio manager. Uh, Ted, yes, that is correct. So, so Joe, could, could you or somebody else online uh, give a little background on what was the uh, drivers that, that brought this uh, over the $300,000? Um, for the project specifics, uh, I'd like for somebody from the business to chime in on that. Yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> Mike Dvorak, uh, manager of the engineering group, own and engineering group on the water side. So uh, we had contracted CST to perform repairs on the silos at Buckman, um, during which they incurred uh, additional damages. And we uh, had to leave the site open for another day. The bulk of this additional work is the uh, crane rental time for that additional day of the work being extended. Okay, and, and and so they just needed to go ahead and get that done, and that's why it was, uh, uh, you guys went ahead and did the work, and now this is coming back as a ratification. Is is that correct? We, the, the additional damage actually led us to uh, reduce capacity of the, one of the two silos, and we will have to have some follow-up work, follow work performed um, later, probably next year. Um, so it's the, okay. the overall work isn't complete, but for now <clears throat> it has been completed um, and put back into service in limited capacity. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, and and so my understanding was that there was a, 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 a 
the reason that this is coming back as a ratification was that the work needed to be done quickly. Uh, uh, and, and so that's why we're ratifying instead of uh, approving. Is that correct? That's mine. Yes, sir. Yes, Ricky. Thank you. Oh, sorry. No. Thank you. No. Uh, uh, did anyone else have any questions about uh, uh, the first item on the regular agenda? Yes, I don't think you can see. Oh, there you go. So, um, my understanding is from your is that uh, we're going to, have to come back and do some more work. So you have to do another bid and evaluation on the future work. Is that correct? That's correct. So they they did find some additional damage that warrants work in the future. Okay. So my question would be, if that additional work would that be related to this? So it would still have to come before awards. If it's less than 300K, is that going to be a separate PO that's less than 300K and does not have to come to awards? Seems like this is all part of the same project. I guess that's what my question is. Uh, um, we we could do it either way. I would talk to Joe. Um, the, the original award item was through uh, OEM manufacturer for them to perform the repairs on their equipment. Um, we could either do a continuation of this contract or issue a new PO at that time. Okay, I think we would need to get that addressed ahead of time because if it seems to me like it's part of this, that would have to be another extension of this one to be brought back on this item versus a separate one. So I think we need to talk about that before that that happens. Okay. So Ricky, this this one will cover expenses already incurred. Um, so we right now we have one invoice that is still pending pay, uh, payment. That was the one that uh, made us realize that we had not sought awards committee approval. Uh, Mike, if there's additional work, uh, please get with us in procurement uh, to give you some guidance on that. Once the awards committee approves this item, we can um, increase the contract up to 10% without having to come to awards. So assuming that the work is, let's say, around $330,000, we could potentially avoid having to come to, um, to the awards committee for that. But again, just for the sake of the committee and for the sake of the one invoice that is still pending payment, that's why we're bringing this uh, award for approval. Yeah, I understand, Joe. I just don't want to see it again when we know they may have some more work. We just don't need to see it again as a ratification. Yeah, yeah, that that w w don't want it to be a ratification. Want 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 it to be an approval, right? So so right. Uh, uh, whenever, whenever I mean, I know certain times we have to do ratifications, but we want to make that the exception to the exception, not the rule. Okay, noted. Understood. Any, any more discussion on this item? Hearing none, may I get a motion to approve item number one of the regular agenda? So moved. Second. So that was a motion made by Ricky Erickson, second by David Emanuel. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Hearing none, the motion uh, is adopted. Um, let's move to item number two of the regular agenda. Uh, uh, this is some um, uh, lawn uh, maintenance contracts. So here again, uh, uh, this one has some uh, uh, ratification. Uh, could, could someone explain the reason that we're we're doing these as ratifications? Through the chair, this is Jenny McCollum. Real quick, um, you all approved this one on the consent agenda. So if you want to discuss it on the regular, we need to go back and pull that one down. Okay. Okay. I, I, because I, I, it wasn't I, I, moved ahead of time. This is one you wanted to move down. But okay. Okay. That, okay. All right. That was not the way my script was written. So, so I would like to uh, move 
uh, consent agenda item number three to regular agenda item number two. Uh, could I get a motion? A motion. Second. I get so we have a motion by David, second by Ricky. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. So, so did we? Did I do that right, Jenny? You did. You did. Sorry, they sent you new talking so, points, but they might not have gotten printed for you. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so here again. Uh, 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 my question uh, uh, on this is, uh, um, this, this, uh, 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 explain to me why, why, why we're doing a ratification. Uh, uh, on these lawn uh, uh, or uh, lawn maintenance uh, agreements. I, I, I know um, we, we had some a couple of weeks ago, but uh, could, could somebody just give a little insight so we make sure uh, we understand that and it's on the record? Through the chair, uh, this is Christy Nunziato, portfolio manager uh, for facilities professional services. Uh, we had this originally Eagle Lawn Care originally had this contract and they had requested a decrease in the number of sites because they were not able to perform the work. And so we had um, just about wrapped up a contract with RZ service group, but the cost was exorbitant. So we were trying to make sure that we were getting the landscape maintenance completed but we had also requested pricing from J and D maintenance services. They provided a price of $71,562, which was 55% lower than what our Z group was, um, had proposed. Um, we did have our Z do some work they had mowed once. So as we were transitioning to J and D, um, we did have some work done by them. So that's kind of the history of it. And I'm, happy to answer any questions you might have so, so just so i i understand this the 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 2960 dollars we did uh, uh that's the ratification part of this and then the the 71,562 dollars is the approval for j and d maintenance that's correct okay okay through, that, that through the chair Yes. Through the chair, this is Jenny again. I just uh, want to add the the expiration date while they were negotiating with um, these two bidders were also on the original bid. So when Eagle couldn't perform the work, we went to the next lowest bidder, which was um, RZ Services. And when they came back with increased rates, we decided to go to the third, which was J&D. At the time, so we had to renegotiate some of these rates since we were just taking a portion of the work. So that's the first part. Um, but during those negotiations, the expiration date um, lapsed. So that's also part of the ratification. Well, so so I appreciate the the group doing the extra work to 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 get the cost down. Uh, uh, um, so uh, great job. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Anyone else have, have any questions on, on that? Okay, hearing none, uh, may I get an adopt a, a motion to approve item number two of the regular agenda? A second? Second. So that was David with the motion and Ricky with the second. Uh, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion is adopted. So items one of the consent agenda have been approved and items one and two of the regular agenda for the May 9th, 2024 meeting uh, uh, is approved. Is there any other business that needs to come before the awards committee? Hearing none, 
uh, I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you for uh, everyone for uh, all your hard work and uh, thank you for the uh, good descriptions of the items so we can move through these quickly. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you.